but my lord kindly i'm 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 sorry my lord i'm almost reaching my lord at your lordship's level but then no. can you do that can you do exactly that exactly that's what i am answering using the power under 367 then that's the point no, exactly that's what i am answering i request your lordship to take 370 once again my lord for the time being to make myself clear my lord that my lord would answer my lord's query my lord to my lord's satisfaction your lord sir may come to the i'll i'll show only two provisions my lord 371 d the lordships have 371 d my lord yes this is the first power such of the other provisions of this constitution shall apply in relation to that state subject to such exceptions and modifications as the president may by order specify correct my lord now read 3 kindly read 3 not to be standing anything in the foregoing provisions of this article the president may by public notification declare that this article shall cease to be operative that is first part or shall be operative only with such exceptions and modifications and from such date as he may specify this is the power of extinguishing or partly extinguishing so now this is crucial my lord exercise as your lordships have uh, rightly said was under 3 because the constituent assembly was in existence it recommended rest whenever there were modifications made in 367 were made under 1d all rest all under 1d including this one with the concurrence of the government concurrence of the government the reason was for that was very simple because you are amending the constitution and you are not dealing with sub clause 3 of 3 yes you are not dealing with sub clause 3 i am not dealing i dealt with at the end on uh, my lord 6th of august because sub clause 3 uh, only deals with 370 itself itself not other your lordships are right not other part of the constitution because d refers to other provision because before d you have c Yes, C says that the provisions of Article One and of Article Three Seventy shall apply to the yes. state of Jammu and Kashmir. Correct. Therefore, in that sense, it freezes the provisions of Article Three Seventy in relation to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Now, what it does is, therefore, it says other provisions of the Constitution shall apply, subject to such exceptions and modifications. therefore other provisions will mean provisions other than article 1 and article 370 and 370 itself and 370 itself correct therefore if you have to make an alteration of 370 or abrogate its status or reduce it or dilute it or alter it you have to follow the you have to follow three. the equals to 3 correct one of right but i cannot do that under sub article 3 367 i cannot modify under 3 sub article d that i can do and i have done only under 371d it has been used as a mechanism and damnu approves it any, right we have seen damnu any so we are now just looking at it, it we, are, we are looking at it as a matter of first impression correct ma'am the first impression can you alter the import of a provision of article 370 itself by a process other than 3 because what you no. have done essentially here is no, no. that you have used 367 to amend the proviso to 370 correct no not uh, uh, amend uh, uh, 367 is explanation that instead of a it would be b it may have an effect of amendment whether you call it an explanation or an amendment yes one thing is very clear that the amendment to 367 has the consequence of now reading the words legislative assembly in place of constituent assembly which in fact was not necessary but yes it did, it was done but not under 370 it was done under first the first step was my lord the first step was the president under 371d uh, added the explanation that henceforth what the question being put to you slightly i think different uh-huh. the question is by making the amendment in 366 by creating yes. constituent assembly with the legislative assembly aren't you in fact amending article 370 by without taking recourse to 373 to clause 
of 370 because article 370 can be only amended in terms of clause clause, of clause 3 I, I understand. But then, my lord, it, it has the effect of it becoming permanent because there is no constituent assembly. So it can never be modified. 370 can never be modified. Can take recourse. I mean, the, the argument on the other side is this that you can re take recourse to clause D of uh, subclause D of clause 1 in a situation where you have to amend any other provision of the constitution other than article 370 no, how but can you doesn't, can you take yes it, it, it doesn't has, say so it's very clear it says such, such other provisions other provisions of, of other means i accept 1 and 370 so you are saying such yes. other provisions will include 367 yes, mr mr solicitor yes yes it's accepted all and Mr. Civil just answered. We are in. Uh, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, it, it, Let's it, not. Uh, make often, I think I should be. Come, come to Malad. We are posing a. We are posing yes. an issue because we have to deal with these issues. So we we want to elicit a response. Yes, Malad. Uh, three sixty seven one. Sorry, three seventy one D refers to other provisions of the Constitution. Other provisions of the Constitution, according to you, would include three sixty seven. Possible. We are not ruling this out at all. We will test that hypothesis. But can you use 367 and amend 367 to bring about an amendment to 370? If you do that while exercising the power under 371D, then are you not really doing that to amend 370 itself? Because the only provision which the Constitution creates to amend 370 is 370 Clause 3. What you are now doing is, according to them, is that you are using the amendment of 367, applying the provisions of 371D to bring about an amendment to 370 itself. Whereas the purpose of 371D is to amend some other provision of the Constitution. True, 367 is another provision of the Constitution. But can you use that to amend then 370 itself? That's the point which you have to answer. Lord, I can assure my learned just senior. Fine, just fine. No, no, please. No, no, I can assure him. Nobody can disturb me or derail me without my consent. I'm quite accustomed to the such interruptions. No, Mr. And, Mr. Lord, Mr. Solicitor, please don't get derailed because this is the heart of the matter. No, no, so I, I know that. I know that. Lord. And he also you knows. Mind spending but but I'm, I'm quite accustomed. Some clarity on this is necessary. We, yeah, let's, yeah, yes. uh, let's sit down and do Lord, it for five what will be, Lord, I will put it part. slightly differently. I'll put it differently. The interpretation which a Lordship Sarma Lord Prima Fesi now we're testing. We're testing it. No, no, we are testing it. The Prima Fesi testing it. Lord, what will be the impact of that? Interpretation. I, I'll read, my lord, the entire Article 370. Meaning, thereby, my lord, in absence of a constituent assembly, which can never be modified, the sub Article 3 can never come into uh, effect, come into operation, and 370 gets the status of a permanent provision. Lord, please read it in totality. My lord, please read. Uh, the, the entire article, my lord, for my satisfaction, please have a look at my lord, the entire article. Notwithstanding anything in this constitution, a your lordships can skip the power of parliament to make laws for the said state shall be limited to those matters in the union list and concurrent list. Your lordships have seen my lord, those the precedent it's here, part. Session. the provisions of article one and of this article shall apply in relation to that state. The purpose is that Jammu and Kashmir can do nothing in their constitution or even parliament can do nothing in their constitution. So I really appreciate, my lord, the, 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 the difficulty, my lord, if your lordships access, uh, my lord, accept that. Then even 368 route, which is the second route suggested, cannot be done because it says one and uh, this article shall remain. If that is the meaning given, that that is completely unalterable, then 370 remains as a permanent, though there are host of considerations for me to show that it has always been a temporary feature. Further, such of the other provisions of this constitution shall apply in relation to that state subject to 
such exceptions and modifications as the president may by order specify. A lot other provisions would mean other than B. Yeah, just stopping you for a minute. Could the legislative assembly make a recommendation in terms of 371B saying that under 367, you equate constituent assembly with legislative assembly? Under 371? What? B. 370 sub clause clause 1 sub clause D could the legislative assembly make a recommendation saying if it is amendment it cannot if just, it just think about it and then answer could the legislative assembly have make a recommendation to the parliament please amend article 367 well, let, let, let me give it a thought and my Lord, uh, respond to that. Lord, that I, I understand the heart of the matter. Your Lordship's Lord, uh, discussion my Lord, is driving that any 370, 367 use, which has the impact of altering 370 itself, Lord, then my Lord, we would be setting at not all uh, 367 usages. Lord. But kindly remember, through the 367 mechanism, 370 has been modified. <clears throat> That's the point in what in favor of what you are saying, with the caveat that the use of the 367 mechanism to modify 370 was always with the consent. Concurrence. Sorry, consent. Sorry, Here also, it is concurrence. The only difference. It was concurrence. Concurrence. Yes, That's this is very one. That no, that is constitutionally but, the significant difference. But this now, is also with concurrence. C, no, this is also with concurrence. The only difference is the concurrence of the governor because governor steps into the shoes of the government. So there is a difference between concurrence and recommendation. No, correct. Concurrence but for, can be subsequent. Recommendation has to be... No, recommendation is of the body. Constituent assembly as it stood and subsequently, if we are right, legislative assembly. Concurrence of the government. Please see, Manoj. And government, the only dispute was that government cannot mean governor. Please see, my lord, concurrence provision, so second provision. Concurrence of the government means uh, uh, that uh, council of ministers. Council of ministers, if it is there, otherwise powers are exercised by the governor. And that's why, my lord, I pointed out that there are several exercise of 371D when there was a precedence rule with concurrence of the governor. At least you have provided a study. At least, uh, that, 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 yes, 